Yes, a very good afternoon to everybody and thank you for joining us on our sunset safari on this beautiful hot afternoon here at uh, Juma and this lovely Sunday, Sunday day. I think it's going to be a wonderful drive. I can't wait to get out there and to see what is going to be seen this afternoon. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Cedric and behind the camera with me on Rusty we've got Panda. So yes, so it's going to be a good afternoon. Well, I am at Gary Dam at the moment, as you clearly can see. Oh, there's some impalas that's coming down to drink there. Sorry, Panda, I just want to make you look a little bit nervous, but I think it's a little bit of a breeze that's coming through at the moment. And sometimes animals become a little bit reluctant on coming down to water holes in case there might be a predator around, but um, at least enough eyes and ears in that, this beautiful harem. We are doing a bit of birding. This is probably one of my favorite spots. I was here not too long ago when we are trying to escape the heat of the day. There's a big jackalberry tree that is producing fruit. Not that it's ripe yet, or anywhere near to being ripe, but it's attracting a lot of birds. So today we have African green pigeons, which we don't see all the time. They hardly ever sit still. They're always right at the top of the trees, which can make it a bit difficult for us to, to view. But there's a pair of them here and i think that that one that is sitting there now I, I suspect is the male the only reason why i say this is because he was puffed up and he was chasing the other one around but she, it's like more like a courtship rather than anything territorial oh that's definitely a female look how, look at those long slender legs no i'm just joking they look exactly the same but it was just the behavior difference and i like the little side stepping that they do like a it is exactly like a parrot but sadly, they don't have the same foot structure as a parrot. They're not as good as dangling. Also hear the water thickness in the background. Shh, it's not all about you thickness. Today, we're looking at the cool green birds. What else you got? There was also a squirrel. There's a squirrel. Hi, squirrel. We're going to have a squirrel and a pigeon in one frame at the moment. Look how cool that is. Sure. Hitting the jack. Hawk. I, don't, I don't think I need to wear my lucky socks anymore. I think that that's just a coincidence that I got to see all those cool things. Look how precious this is. Isn't that nice? Those are not two rocks. Those are two rhinos. Hello, rhinoceros. Rhinoceri, rhinoceroses, rhinos, and a blacksmith lapwing, and oxpeckers. Won't forget. I think they've just smelt us. It's like, shame, I'm sorry. Obviously, as we know with rhinos, they don't have the world's greatest eyesight. And I think they just got a little bit nervous from us, but you could also see we're miles away from them. But when you are that large, it is better to get up and look around. It's not like their their necks their necks are able to just swivel. Hi guys. You see the looks like a rhino on the right has recently had its horn trimmed. Hey, what do you think, Pat? Looks pretty new. So if you are wondering why on earth do we do that to rhinos? It's cruel, it's barbaric. Well, we don't really have a choice. It's just one of the methods, one of the many methods that are being used to try and deter people from shooting rhinos and hacking their horns off. And we have to do that and it has to get done every couple of years depending on, the, of course, the rate at which the horn grows. And for every rhino, it will be slightly different. We're just checking something here. There's reports of a leopard in this particular area here. We're trying to assist in finding this animal. Somewhere around here apparently. I can hear birds calling that side. It's 
see something there, but it's not it. There it is, 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 got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, got the leopard. Or is it? Yeah, it's lying there. Right there, you see it? It's lying behind. It's lying behind him. We can just, it's going to be tricky. Right there. Looks like a young one. Yeah, I got visual, yeah, Andrew. So, who's our mighty here? Okay. So, we're just going to sit here and see what she's doing. It's not the greatest of visual, or it. Oh, it's rolling in the mud there. It's rolling in the mud. Standing up there. It's moving now towards... Just go straight down there. You should see her ears there. There we go. Ah, Odie, there you go. Kryptonite is gone. Looks like a very young, look at that very pointy face. It's definitely a relatively young animal. Where is my binoculars, by the way? What has happened to them? Hmm? And I did say, give me one leopard. Just one. Now she's standing right there at the base of the tree. Sorry, she didn't run. No, she's 100% calm with us. Look at that. She's not even looking at us. Hey, there we go. My feeling it's Tinkerbell. It looks like a young animal. But I can't say for sure. There's no way with the amount... It did look like she was eating something there indeed, Franny. Um, let's, let's, let's see where she goes. It will be something small. Like I said, it might have been... I can't see any remains there. Maybe a rodent. Where is she now? I think, to, I think this is heading into very thick stuff here. Yeah? She was seen there going towards the road. Wow, as I said earlier, leopard, got it. All right, thanks to Andrew Vostenolam who found it with the students. Anyway, join us again tomorrow morning. We are ending the show very soon tomorrow morning at 6.30 Central African time, Sunrise Safari. VK and I will be ready and so will the rest of the team, hopefully in Juma. Join us tomorrow. It's going to be an epic Monday, start of a new week. And we are going into the bush for another wild adventure right here.